Have you ever asked yourself what does travel mean to you? For some people, it's all about vacation, taking time off their stressful day-to-day life and unwinding from a busy and hectic schedule. And for some people as well, it's all about tourism, exploring a new country, trying a new food, and experiencing a new culture. For some others as well, it's a mixture of both. So you enjoy vacation and you also explore tourism. For me on this trip, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do any tours. But then I asked myself, have you really traveled if all you did was stay in the resort the entire time? Not shop from locals or visit the community around you? I was almost getting too comfortable enjoying a nice beach time and pool time. But I can always do that back home, right? So I decided to book a full day tour and explore Jamaica. I'm really glad I made that decision and I'm ready to share that experience with you as well. Hey guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, yes, please smash the like button, subscribe below, and turn the post notification bell on. Today I'll be taking you guys on a tour in Jamaica. I'm going. I'm doing some activities actually. I'm um, going for ATV ride, us back ride, uh, and us we we're also going to Don River Falls. Um, what else are we doing? Like a lot of things today, so it's a full day tour. I'm really glad. Um, right now, I'm just going outside to take some pictures. Then I'll be right back because the bus comes by 7:30, by 7:45 actually. So I need to be downstairs. But for now, let me go do some, you know, finishing up. This is not the outfit I'll be wearing today, of course. I just need to go take some pictures, and I'll be right back. Hey, so I'm ready for my activity today. I'm wearing this bucket hat from Shein and this earring. I don't know if I wanted to keep this earring or change to something else, but this is my full fit. Just wearing a top, then in short, I have my bathing suit under here, and um, the top is also here for when we need to take it off. And I'm about to leave now. We're supposed to meet for 7:45. The time right now is 7:40. So that's right on time. I'm going to go downstairs now. I have all my stuff packed in this bag that I got from Aden. I have extra changeover of clothes and that's my timer right there going off. So I'm ahead outside now. I don't know, should I keep this pocket hat or is it better without? I think it's okay with it. But I don't know about this earring stuff. I'll keep it. You're the one I wait for even though I hate Every time you leave me You know I'm on the line with the sun low You already know the vibes when I pull up on you Been looking at the sign like a horse go You say you wanna leave but I know you don't Talking about you wanna freeze what we got going on But I'm seeing through the stream it's really going on I know how you feel I just need you to wait on me I wanna do less of this latency I wanna do less of that wait and see When I get back to the city I hate to leave I know it's tough being away from me Till I put it down for like synergy Swear that your body the remedy You won't find nobody to Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm really glad I tried the ATV ride because I was almost going to chicken out. If you know me really well, you would know anything that has to do with driving, I would just completely rather not. But on this trip, there is no backing out of everything. I'm glad I did try the ATV ride 
At first it was confusing for me, but after a while I got a hang of it. You definitely do need a driver's license to get on the ATV right. I also recommend you go with waterproof shoes because it's going to get really muddy and messy and you need to rinse off. If you would like, it would be nice for you to have bulk repellent and maybe some sunscreen because it gets really muddy. After the ATV ride was done, we headed back to the meeting point for the horseback ride and horse swing. I've ridden a horse before but definitely never ridden one on a company. This is my first time controlling a horse by myself and let me tell you, it requires some skills and techniques. It's about to get on the horseback riding and horse swing. Ready? I've never ridden a horse before, but I think I'm in control. Let's see. I got the hang of it, and it's really nice to try. Certainly, I was scared for a bit, but the ride did not last for too long. And also, when you have people around you doing something, you get this internal motivation that you can definitely do it as well. I couldn't really get a nice video of me doing the horse ride, but I got some fire pictures. Here goes nothing. After the horseback ride, we had a short break and went for the horse swing. They used different horses for the horseback ride and horse swim because according to them, the horses are trained to swim. After the short break, we switched horses and got inside the sea. Let me tell you, these horses are actually swimming. Their feet is not touching the ground. Very surprising. It took me a hot minute to know and figure that out. But I tell you, these horses are actually trained. Of course, you need some skills and some technique to control the horse and not allow the horse control you. I got the hang of it. It's very, very easy. I've never done this before and it was very easy for me to get the first attempt. So, so definitely try this out if you have the opportunity to. Here is a picture of me and the squad that did the horse swim. So we just finished. The horse swim was so nice. Um, for whatsoever reason, the audio decided to not sync with my lips in this part. But I was just sharing how much I enjoyed the horse swim and the horse ride. I think at the end of this experience, I can refer to myself as an equestrian. <laughs> For me personally, I enjoyed the horse swim more than the horse ride. I don't know for some reason, it was just much more nicer. We decided to go for lunch before our last and final activity for today, which is visiting Dawn's River Fall and doing a zip lining. Um, 
we went to Island Village for lunch at Margarita View and also did some small shopping from the local. I got this drink at Margarita View. I can't remember the name, but it tastes really, really good. I had some rice and peas with jerk chicken for lunch. This location of Margarita View in Island Village is really, really nice. It overlooks the beach and a pool that has this very nice slide that goes into the pool. The drink is really, really nice and tasty, and there are a lot of other things to do here. Um, it's just unfortunate I have to head back to the falls, otherwise I would have loved to stay a bit here and enjoy some activities as well. After lunch and a short break, we went straight to Don's River Fall for our final activity for the day. We just left Margarita View. I had lunch there and I got some souvenirs. I got like one earring of the picture over here and this one long bracelet. We are currently at Don River Fall. I think we're also doing the zip lining, which I'm excited for. I've never done zip lining. Okay, I've done like zip lining in Canada, but it wasn't really high, like a very reasonable height. But this one is like over the water, so I don't know. But I'm not scared. I'm not scared of ice. It's water that I'm not very comfortable with. So we're just walking to the entrance now. And I got this pouch for my phone for ten dollars. And the earrings and the bracelet I got was for twenty dollars. I mean, I know we're just supporting local businesses. That's it. Period. And Margarita View is so cute too. Unfortunately, I couldn't stay there for so long because I have to continue my tours. But like, yeah, man, I'm sweating. Anyway. Jungle bird thing. The, the harness, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm ready. I'm sure ready. Sure you're ready? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what we're going on. This is what we're going on. I did not know what I signed up for today. Yeah? Yeah, I did not know. You didn't wear the fine thing? I, I guess I'm slow. <laughs> so I missed that part.
So I'm back at the resort now, just at dinner. I had seafood pasta, it was really nice. With oyster and some vegetables and jerk chicken. I'm really tired, I need to sleep. After so I'm doing so much today. I can't wait to take up all of these tags that I have on my hands. And I'm thinking of like, I'm just trying to wait for the sunset because I'm by the beach and the sunset is like, it's going to be in like 15 minutes. So I'm just here chilling for it. Just enjoy the view, but right now I'm just enjoying the waves of the beach and the views. It's actually just me here. So, and that's the restaurant by the back. So it's really nice. I think I'll just grab a chair and sit. So it's calling it night, and that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye. We start to get dressed and then we cry. I'm about to try kayaking guys and I don't know how to swim but I'm excited to actually try because I've always wanted to do it in Canada but now I'm opportunity to do it for free and this is where I am. There are other people as well trying to do it. There are a lot of free things to do so I'm going to try this and there's also the free um, something else that I think I want to try but I don't know yet. I'm ready. I have my baby. Yes, if you want to take a photo, my dear phone in a month, remember you got the kitchen in front of you so. I don't need I don't 